This instruction video outlines the new temperature uniformity survey software from Invensys Eurotherm. First of all, we pull our data into the review historian package. Once we have it there, we can create a chart from our thermocouples. Here we're actually going to uh, look at a particular batch that we ran a survey at. Using the review software, we can actually analyze the data at any particular point along the timeline. Now moving to the temperature uniformity survey report itself. On the right hand side, I've just got the report scrolling through just to give you an idea of what the report looks like. This is the output. On the left hand side is the software itself, so let's get into this detail. Initial setup, you can set up the company information. Check the license, activate if necessary. Also set up uh, the localization, so English, French, German, what the date format, the number format is. You have the ability to pull in logos to make a complete report. You can add setup notes, uh, your survey engineers, and you can save all of these under a particular profile name. So let's get into the detail of the report itself. So here's the welcome data entry screen. Here we can set up information such as the certificate number, the model and the serial number of the furnace, instrument types, these are conforming to the AMS typology, uh, also set up the, the class of furnace and the temperature tolerance at the different temperatures that you're running. Moving on to the data source configuration, this is where we can connect with the review database, picking the instrument and the group name. As we did, select by batch. And here you'll bring the, the thermocouples in, so you can select the number of thermocouples that you're going to use. This screen actually shows you uh, what temperatures you're running at and the tolerance of those temperatures. In the detailed data entry, this is where you put in all the, the background data uh, to the instrument type of the furnace, uh, etc. Here we've got the thermocouple correction factors and recorder correction factors. Of course we've got the thermocouple locations. In this you can also add pictures so it describes where the thermocouples are. And if you want to put any engineering comments such as uh, controller offsets, those are possible. So another key screen is the stability criteria. Here this is where you're setting um, when you're monitoring the, the thermocouple data. So this is 20 degrees. Uh, Fahrenheit before you hit the set point and you're running for 30 minutes. You can monitor uh, through an automatic analysis or more generally through real time and setting the time and date that you want to actually start your minimum 30 minutes soap time. This also shows you the process tolerance that you're running at. So we come to the output and here we can generate previews, uh, store files, and, and this is uh, the output here we're showing in a PDF file. But you can print it out to a paper format as well. Just showing you the, the graphs uh, as you get in the output of the report. So you get both a detailed graph and a summary. So that's the complete report. Thank you for listening to this instruction video. Uh, I hope you have found it useful.